Hey, how you doing, Coach? I'm good. Just wanted to first catch you up. Um, how did that break after that uh, New York game kind of help the team out? Well, I hope it gave them some rest uh, and just kind of re uh, generate their body and soul and everything else about it. Um, you know, it's been a long season with a condensed schedule and we didn't get much of a break at the All-Star break and it was good for us just to get away from basketball for, you know, three days and kind of came back with a fresh bounce to us yesterday. And of course you have to focus on Dallas first and then you have your Seattle back to back. Does it start to feel like playoff mentality and kind of since the playoffs coming up now? Yeah, it does. I mean, I think that, you know, um, you know, even because we've been able to practice for a couple of days to to lock in on some you know important things defensively that you know we want to stay consistent about. Um, you know, I think that every team we play for the next four or five games, six games actually, right now would be in the playoffs if they started today. So um, there's a lot for those teams to play for, and a lot for us to play for trying to move up. And then. I Atlanta won't play in Dallas, so right. what's, I guess what's the mindset going into that game uh, when you don't have I mean, We just do what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Aisha and, and Tiana have been taking most of the reps at that spot, and, you know, we've played them, you know, once without Elena, and you know, we're, we're in a good place mentally right now, I think, so uh, just go play. I mean, we're not going to change anything drastic because mm -hmm. Elena's not here. What's been the message for you for the team now heading into the, I guess what you would call the second half of the season? Do you say anything to them just to keep them playing and uh, keep them hungry? I mean, we're, we're down to the last eight games. So, you know, we kind of had a conversation with them about three weeks ago about some things where we were um, both in some goals uh, statistically and some realistic, realistic goals as far as, you know, things we needed to work on. Um, you know, the whole mentality from the start has been get better every day. Mm. And so that isn't going to change. I mean, we're not doing anything drastic. We're just trying to, you know, be uh, mindful each day about what we're doing. I will go to Zoom for Christos. Hello, Coach. Hope you're doing well, first of all. Uh, how satisfied you are on the way that your team react playing without a lean on the I mean, we've done it so many times this year that uh, it's, it's a kind of a normal situation. And, you know, we, you know, we're just, uh, you know, we're used to doing it right now. Uh, a little less frequently, thankfully, the last few weeks. But it's just part of what we have to do, um, you know, to make sure that she's in the best shape possible for the playoffs. And so it's just part of our process right now. And speaking about Shakira, in one year from now, how better do you expect to, to see her on the floor? I mean, I expect every young player to make a big leap between their first year and their second year. I think that's a, you know, a huge part of uh, the progress our team made, needs to make. And so, um, you know, we're we're gonna, you know, encourage her to keep working all the little things she's been doing, and hopefully, you know, uh, I think she's gonna go overseas and she can work on some things there too. Thank you very much. Yep. Could that smell any worse? Sorry, guys, on the Zoom, but we got a we got a few maintenance people here working on some sewer things in the building, and oh my goodness, <laughs> this is hard. Uh, hello, coach. Is that okay to ask yes. a question? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So my question is about Rui uh, Machira. Uh, a couple questions about her. Um, although she hasn't put, put up uh, big numbers recently, I think uh, her, her assisted turnover ratio, 2.2, .2, is not bad. And uh, especially Very good. In, the, in the last nine games, it's uh, 3.8. Yep. So how do you assess her uh, growth and uh, I mean, I think she's grown a lot as far as, you know, understanding what we're doing, uh, you know, making our offense click as far as pushing the tempo. Uh, we're playing at a fast pace. I think, you know, 
in, in quite a few of our last five or six games, it's been a plus with her on the floor. Um, I think the biggest thing is, is everybody's talked about, you know, that she knows it is that she's striving to become a more consistent outside shooter. Um, and, you know, other than that right now, I would say she's playing at a, at a pretty high level. Her defense is, you know, bothering people. Uh, and, you know, we want her to be a pest on defense, and she is. And uh, another, the last one is, uh, is there anything specifically you want to try or test about Rui in the final stretch of the regular season? No, I, I want her to keep just doing the stuff that she's been working on. There's nothing, you know, this, this is not the time of year for anybody to be doing anything radically different. We'll stay the course with what we're doing, get a little better every day, and you know that's that's how we're going to get better. You know, we talk to all of our players about you know we need you each to be one or two possessions better per half. We don't need some radical transformation. It's not going to happen. It's not realistic. Okay, thank you so much. I did stop. Thank you. All right, last question, Nathan. Hey, Coach Coach T. Good afternoon. How are you? Great, thanks. Yes, sir. Uh, I've asked you this before, but I, I want to know: Do you think your front court would be the key with these next as these eight games? I think they're the key to uh, offensively. You I, don't see improvement. I don't, I don't know that it's anybody specifically right now. Um, you know, it's kind of fluctuating from game to game. What I'm just looking for mostly is is consistency. That we get that we get and take good shots. That we don't hesitate when we get good shots. I think it's going to depend, like when we play Dallas, uh, you know, their leading scorers are all guards. And so, you know, it's going to be a little bit different there. When we come and play Seattle, you know, you have a very balanced team, but with Brianna Stewart and uh, Tina Charles and Ezzy Magbegar, it's going to be, you know, a, a much more physical war for our bigs. But you still got to deal with, you know, Jewel Lloyd and Sue Bird and you know, Epiphany Prince. So I think it's going to be the group as a whole. I don't think I could sec single out front court versus guards, considering who we're going to play. Understood. And then, not to give away the secret formula for Dallas, but what are some of the things uh, that you would like to see from the New York game going to this game Thursday? I think our communication on pick and rolls will be important. Um, their guards tend to hang on to the ball a little bit longer than New York guards do. Um, you know, we know Agumba Wally and Mabry are going to have the ball in their hands a lot, uh, and, and their offense, you know, goes as they go. So um, I'd like to see us continue our ball pressure, and then that means really having good help from everybody else when you know those players try to go one on one against us. Uh, I thought that's one of the things we did really well in the New York game was contain their guards and not let them get direct line attacks at anybody. I appreciate you, Coach Steve. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thanks, Coach. Get out of there. Yep.